Bienvenidos, bienvenidas, bienvenides. Welcome to the Cultural Classroom. Today we will be talking about one of my kiddos' favorite activities for Hispanic Heritage Month, my no prep Hispanic Heritage Art Project. This video is part one of my Hispanic Heritage Month series where I dig in and show you how my awesome resources work. Well, let's jump in. Pero, if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Allison. I am the founder of The Cultural Classroom. The Cultural Classroom is a small business that makes socially conscious resources for the Spanish language classroom. I upload videos related to social justice in the world language classroom, ed tech, teaching tips, and so much more. If that sounds like your jam, then join the tribe and subscribe. Also, check out my description box for free downloads. Now, back to your regularly scheduled program. So what is the project? This Hispanic Heritage Month Art Project is a research project where students will visit a virtual museum and dig into a piece of art and artist by a Hispanic artist. I provide a small list of suggested sites but students can use other artist or artwork that is approved by the teacher. What is the goal? The goal is to get out of the four walls of the classroom and to explore the US and the world through its museums. For example, I have El Prado from Spain where they may come across many of the classics um, some of the links allow you to walk through the museums, which is a major hit for a lot of the students. Um, Flores Mexicanas is an interactive museum that I personally like. I always walk through that one when I'm um, showing examples from this project for the students. Anything unique. The project comes with a rubric to facilitate with grading and expectations. Also, there is a checklist graphic organizer to aid students of all levels at the secondary level to achieve a successful outcome. Finally, I include an example of an outline, like an outline of a potential essay. It's not the real essay, but it's kind of like the meat and potatoes of what the essay could contain. I teach eighth graders, so for many of them, this is their first time um, handing in like a major essay. They're like, oh my God, this is so crazy. <laughs> so I try my best for optimal success. Um, for this assignment, I would aim for one to three weeks, depending on your students. Like, you know your students. Um, if they're upper high school, like, they may need just one week. If they're middle schoolers, they may need two weeks or three weeks. Um, you know how quickly your students can write and handle uh, the stress, stress, because it really is not stressful, um, of a, a, a project. I say stress just because the word project in it inherently has the word stress in it, but this project is fun. It's actually fun. It should, it should be called fun. Hispanic Heritage Month art fun. Yeah, I think I should change the name. <laughs> what should students walk away with? Students should walk away with a deeper appreciation of art, a deeper understanding of Latinidad, and just personal enjoyment. Um, at the end of the year, I give my students a survey and um, I ask them like, oh, what was your favorite thing this year? What did you like? And every class I get students that are like, I love the art project. It was so much fun. And so, you know, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. They get to go to a museum online, search through artwork, look up an artist, find out about their life. Artists have crazy lives. They get to learn about it. <laughs> they get to hand in a project about it, print up a picture. 
and you know it's just it's fun and then you can make an extra credit too if you want them to um, paint the picture themselves so get your hands on this class copy uh, the link is in the bio and remember to subscribe to the tribe un abrazo fuerte ciao bye